Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I want to show you a quick animation of uh, El Hero. And if you've been following the Canary Island story, um, they've been having a lot of seismic activity, some volcanic eruptions under the sea. And this is a worst case scenario simulation of what would happen if the uh, side of one of these islands collapsed, which it has done in the past, sending a tsunami to our east coast. Now the seismic activity and the volcanic activity and the, the tsunami demonstration isn't even my biggest concern because I came across an article in a uh, German uh, travel magazine a couple of days ago and found out that there is a huge um, radioactive waste depository right off the Canary Islands and right between the path that that tsunami would take if it ever happened. There are um, 14, uh, I'm sorry, 140,000 tons of radioact radioactive material in a water depth of 4,000 meters. It has been there since approximately 1967. They stopped dumping in the area off the Canaries in 1983 and the uh, barrels were thought to, lit to be able to last about 50 years. Well, it's been 45 years, and now there's some things going on over there, and I cannot help wondering if something may be leaking from these barrels and, and, um, and causing some of the seismic activity. I mean, we just don't know. There's been other strange things that have happened recently about our sun changing um, the decay rates of radioactive materials. Nobody has, you know, has any idea why. It was discovered by some researchers at Purdue who noticed that the decay rates um, changed varying from, from winter to summer over the last two years. And then a, an astute uh, researcher um, actually drew a correlation that the de decreases in the radioactive decay began uh, a good 36 hours before a sun flare occurred. So we have a sun that's interacting with our planet in new and unusual ways. We have radioactive materials that are dumped all over in our oceans because it's not just at El Hero. And I found in um, IAEA report um, that talks about uh, these barrels, what is contained in the barrels, what kind of follow-up is done, and here is a map showing where all of these um, ocean disposal sites are located. And you notice these are areas of high seismic activity. all up and down our east coast, Gulf of Mexico, off Baja, San Diego, all the way out to Hawaii. We're in, in big trouble on this planet right now. Um, I'm going to put links to all these articles at the bottom so you can look them over yourself and, and if you are doing reports on El Hero please include something about this radioactive waste because I think it's really important for people on the East Coast to know about it and, and the people on the Canaries to know about it because if, um, if there is an eruption and these barrels get disturbed then you know there, there may be radioactive releases. There, there could be releases coming from them now. They're, they're finding high levels in Europe. They're saying it's not from Fukushima so you know, where is it coming from and, and where is it going to go if something like this happens? Things to think about and we really need to ask ourselves if we're going to continue to to let this industry poison us in the way that they are
And here's one more mat too. And just to show you, the, the symbols are uh, on the map are um, indicating the nu nuclear uh, radioactive waste. These symbols are sunken nuclear subs. That's where they have accidentally sank. And then the yellow subs are planned seismic activity lots of seismic activity lots of seismic activity i don't know keep it in mind let me know what you guys think stay safe